Hi guys, so I know I look a little crazy, but I was in the bathroom getting ready and I was like, I should totally do a video on how to use this curling iron right here. Do you see it? So basically, <laughs> so this is a, it's one of the wave curling irons and it took me a while to figure it out. I never watched how to do it. I just figured it out and I figured it out years ago and ever since I did it's been one of my favorite ones to use so I just thought I would do a quick like here's how to use it kind of thing and how to get big fun crazy hair all right so you're just going to get ready with me this morning in my crazy colored bathroom that needs painted okay so what you do and I'll show you what I've done so so far I got this side done because my head is shaved or else you'd see a lot more hair. And I start here and what I do is basically I take a whole section here, the whole section on the side, and then I do the back. That's just how I've been doing it. It's the easiest for me because then I don't miss very many hairs. <laughs> so I got this side done and right now I'm at the very bottom of this side. So I'm just going to clip him over here because there's a whole lot of hair hanging out. And I just, not fancy, just kind of grab and go. So see my hair is growing out. Ooh, ooh. So what I like to do is I'll just give them a little, you know, brush there. And then when I'm on this side, when I have to reach over, I don't do very well this way because I lose it all the time. So I open the guy up and come from behind. So I get really scared when it's too close to me, so I make weird faces. Um, but I can just clamp down, okay? And then hold it in there, and then when it's done, you see where that little curl just ended? So I catch that curl in the first go of that one. So the end of this one right here, I'll put into that barrel, if that makes sense. So that's how that goes. See how it ended? And then I catch it right there and I go right in there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'll do it a few more times so you can see it. But I'm telling you, this is my one of my most favorite ways to curl my hair. And for some reason, everybody thinks it looks really like a natural curl. Because natural curly hair is kind of wild, you know and it's more wavy like this. Some natural curl is, you know, ringlets, but sometimes it's more like this. Um, I'm just gonna catch this one underneath here really quick. If I can, I'm a scaredy cat. Oh, I hate going up there. Really freaks me out. I've gotten burned by curling iron so many times and now I'm just like a baby about it. You'd think I'd be like, oh, I don't care, but honestly, I care, it hurts. So I'm letting this side go. There's like a straight piece in there. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna catch him really quick. Bing, bing, bing. Oh look, he's not that straight. All right. So this curling iron is super forgiving. You don't have to be perfect about it, but if you do catch that last curl and put it in the, the barrel, it looks really good. And if you feel like you want it to look really, really good and you want to spend your time on it, you can. I personally like to look like a lion at all times. So I make it big and wild and I don't, I'm not perfect about it. My hair is like my life. It changes all the time. It's never perfect and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> And it's a little crazy, or a lot of crazy. So that's how I'm gonna do it, and we're just gonna hang out if you want. Um, I always say I'm gonna do a quick video. Why do I always say that? And then it never happens. I'm like, let's hang out. Let's hang out and be friends. What do you wanna talk about? I don't know. I wish we could listen to music. I had Pandora playing, um, but she, decided to quit playing as soon as I touched the video on my phone. Um, one quick tip though while you're doing this is um, I don't get my sections really big. 
I mean, they're not tiny, but they're not real fat either. So, oh, I like to, because the bigger, the fatter your sections are, the longer it takes for that heat to go through there. Um, if you want your curls to be really defined, go up in heat. And if you just want them like a really relaxed one, go lower in heat. Or if you have really fine hair that's super damaged, do not go high in heat. That is a bad idea. <laughs> um, so I found this curling iron um, because I'm obsessed with the 80s and crimping and big hair and high-waisted stuff and crop top. I love it all. I love the 80s. Um, and I found this curling iron because I was looking actually for a crimper. And I went to Sally's and got him. Or did I get him from Sally's? I don't know. But he's a hot tool. So you can find hot tools at Sally's. And I tend to go with stuff that has the purple. Only because I feel like the purple part protects your hair a little bit. Um, better than just a hot metal iron. And um, because they're purple, I know they're, I know it's all the same. Um, but what I really, really like though, is I have like the regular barrels and the regular barrels that are covered in purple, they have lasted me so long. I've probably had them for, oh my gosh, 10 years I've had these curling irons. If it's not been 10, they'll last me over 10. It's to the point where I have them wrapped up in like, I don't know, it, they look crazy. This has a little lock and unlock and I'm always flipping that. So I keep it closed in the lock position just so that it keeps the heat inside. If you keep it out like this, all the heat escapes. So just Kind of train your thumb to open and close. Um, it's got the on button on the other side, and then your um, your heat is the little dial. Mine's at like 380. I guess I could go really higher than that, but I don't need to. I feel like it's really hot, and I've had the dang thing forever. So, oh, there's a straight one. You're gonna find a straight one every now and then. We'll just curl them on up. All right, I'm not done with the back, I know it. So right now I have a weave in, back in, I should say. Um, I got it before the trip and I was so excited to have big curly hair that looked really nice um, on the trip. So I went to Puerto Vallarta and um, I would say almost any trip you go on, if you like to have hair extensions or weaves or whatever, I'll tell you what, it is so nice because you don't wash your hair every single day. And maybe you don't anyway, but you really don't when you have your extensions in. Um, and what I like about it is it's pretty much styled. It's like ready to go. You have extra sass in your step. It is so much fun. It is so much fun to have this is tiring. Usually my hair is shorter. <laughs> but nope, I had a long one. Um, but yeah, back to going on a trip and having your hair in. I'm telling you, it's like getting your nails and lashes done. It's a must-have. So I really hope, like anybody who has, um, like I have really fine hair. If you have fine hair or it's, shorter and you just kind of wish it had a little extra or you want some volume in there go for it and i'll do a video on the differences between weaves tape ends all that and tell you the good and the bad of all of it since i was 18 i've had hair extensions in and out of my hair so when i say i've done it all i really mean i've done it all <laughs> and i'm really hooked on getting the weave right now because my hair, my natural hair is really, really short. And if I put any other extensions in there, it's just not going to work because it'll show too much. You know, it'll look like a mullet. 
I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like you have your short hair sticking out and then this beautiful long hair. So instead, just do a nice weave in there. Braid up all your hair. Sew in all the other hair. Works way better. Um, if you do use this curling iron and you do have big crazy hair and you're like me and you have a, a shaved side, it really covers up that shaved side if you don't want it shown. It does. It's like you can't see it at all. Alright, normally I have my daughter in here at this point helping me find any straight hairs, but I think this is the last little section. So you guys have hung out with me the whole time I'm doing my hair, and I like it, and I like it, and I love it. So, one last section, Yee, such a scary cat. I'll tell you what happened. I was, was it 12 or 13? I was young. I'm pretty sure it was junior high. Um, and my friend came over and we were curling our hair and my sister was there and um, we we're all doing hair stuff and we had this curling iron that was blasting heat and what happened was my friend ended up burning me somehow on my arm. And I had to put like aloe on it, it scarred up for a while. I think it scarred my feelings <laughs> more than it did my skin. But oh my gosh, ever since then I've just like such a baby. And anytime I'm curling anybody's hair, holy moly, I will put my whole hand beside you so I'm not like close to your face. So my hair is looking pretty wild and I like it. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. So, this is what this looks like. I don't know if the lighting in here is good, but here, let me get closer. Isn't that fun? That is so much fun. A good thing to know, because if you do, do you see me poke myself? Ow. Um, if you do have any hair extensions or... Um, Anything in your hair. I have some that they left out of my own, so it all looks, you know, natural. Um, but, of course, my hair that's left out is really so much shorter. And even though we did a lot of layers, it's still nice to make it all flow together. And when you do this type of curl to your hair, uh, oh boy, does it make it all look <laughs> together. <laughs> all together now. So, um, one other tip that I learned the hard way is when you use this curling iron, what you want to do is if you want it to stay more defined like this, you can make it big and crazy. What I like to do is somehow, sometimes I just will brush out the root part so they sort of join up, right? But if you brush all your hair, it goes really big and although I am a fan of that what is this doing see that I don't like that um it will poof out so big and the only way to get it back down to normal is if you put some kind of like a detailing cream in there or a texturizing cream or like coconut oil or something like that and what that'll do is it'll bring your hairs back together and make it look more defined. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. I keep mine pretty much as is. What will happen though, if I keep this in, by the end of the day, it's kind of like, just because I got the weave in there and it's all curly, it'll get kind of naughty right here. Naughty hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so. It'll get naughty back there and I'll brush it and then I'll end up just putting some coconut oil, coconut oil in there and it'll help out. So that's the fun with this curling iron. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you need to know how to use any other curling irons, if I have one, I'll show you how to use it. Okay. I love y'all. Bye.